Hi everybody, um, so welcome back for a new tutorial, uh, it's Universal Sidechain and I'm really sorry for the quality of this tutorial uh, because I'm on the road, I don't have my uh, mix table so I can't really root my computer into it to get better sounds. Um, there we go, uh, today we're going to do a noisier bass style, uh, as you can hear one in a very new song, uh, Try Hard. Uh, um, let's see what it gives. Come on, boy. Um, there we go. Um, this is that bass. Um, just before we start, uh, I have to say that it's a tutorial um, that I made uh, for the remix competition of You and What Army. Um, so I'm really proud of my song, uh, such as for example the atmosphere at the start, Oops. Um, which is like uh, in a submarine, you know. And then the voice that is coming, um, I made it um, really scratchy, like a vinyl, you know. There we go. Um, so you can download it for free on my SoundCloud uh, account, link below. Um, so there we go. Um, That best. Um, so I already created a combinator um, which is empty. I just automate directly uh, the pitch band. Um, so now create a synthesizer polysonic of Tor, show programmer. Uh, do not change this, it's not useful. Um, what you're going to need is three oscillators. The first one is an analog, you can leave it as it is. Um, second one is a multi oscillator for the f because it's f it gives a more thickness to the sound. Uh, the tuner mode on 32 because we want a slightly um, feather effect. Uh, octave three and the last oscillators will be a wave table uh, because uh, because it uh, gives a nice characteristic to the sound. Um, I can explain correctly this, but well. It worked. Um, use octave three, and the type of the wave is um, PPG seventeen mix harmonic position on ninety two. Uh, let's have a listen after we have um, root the three oscillators. There we go. Um, now in the mixer. Um, uh, balance 1 to 2 on uh, 80 Oops. and the third oscillator level will be on minus 4.7 dB um, as usual if you have some problem with precision use the shift uh, touch uh, then everything is going to go to the um, first filter so it's going to be a comp filter uh, a minus comp filter uh, bring the resolution on 56 because um, well it gives a, another sound and um, we're going to have a frequency on 260 Hz no envelope it's kind of work but it's um, the kind of sound we wanted to create with that comp filter you know a phaser chorus sound so um, do not Use the chorus here if you want to um, modify my patch after. Um, then roll this into the shaper on wrap and drive on 29. Uh, this is because we want to create a sudden distortion before we we equalize everything. You know. Then it goes in the amp, the preamp. Uh, root it on the in the third filter with a low pass filter 
frequency on 6.57 kilohertz resolution on 28 uh, we want a precise um, low pass filter you know so we will use the type 1 which is more precise I think and we will um, increase the envelope uh, until uh, 51 because um, we want it to be um, really affected by the filter envelope here. Um, the resolution is high because we're going to use uh, LFO to get a slightly wobble um, effect. So it's much better when you have a, a resolution with the low pass filter. Uh, so the LFO put key sync kit, tempo sync kit, um, rate on 1 over 80. There you go. Uh, waveform limit as it is. And in the matrix box, um, root the LFO 1. I'm on 32. Oops. There we go. And destination filter free frequency. Um, I don't think you can hear really it now, but but you've got a little wobble, a subtle wobble. Uh, now filter envelope. Uh, attack all the way down. Decay the velocity. Sustain all the way up. Uh, yes, when the sustain is all the way up, it does not matter if DK is down or up. Uh, you can really hear it in with the filter envelope, but with the envelope, we will do the experience, you will see. And release all the way down. So, envelope, you need the sustain all the way up. It does not change anything, but well, you can put it all the way up. If you if you do not trust me, um, the attack uh, on 3.9 milliseconds and the release on 122 milliseconds because we do not want a clipping attack for synthesizer. Uh, I have created a, a HP filter. Uh, I can download it in the link below. Uh, so you can route the output here into the audio output one and two, and then create an equalizer and put the equalizer on the output of the combinator. There we go. Uh, show programmer disable this, and so as you can see. And the Thor is going to uh, the filter here, and we're going to put the frequency on 250 hertz. So um, when you hear the song, you have no more uh, low frequencies because it's a HP filter, high pass filter. So you can now we're going to equalize this a little bit. So put the low cut. You can hear it. All. Uh, we hear that uh, we need a little boost at um, at 400 at 4 point, um, 464 kilohertz here yeah. again of um, 2.9 dB so 447.8 hertz uh, 3.4 dB and a Q of uh, 3.1 and um, this gives more body to your bass um, so now that you've made this you can um, delete the HP filter yes and automatically this is root to the equalizer and you can hear the difference so with it, without more interesting and you do not have to boost the low shaft because it's a bass it already has too much uh, um, low bend and we do not want the bass to mess up after this with the sub bass and other bass that you will add to your song uh, because noise I use lots of bass um, and since it's no a noise style you must be able to mix everything Then you can create a new equalizer mode, and because 
activate Baron 1 and Baron 2 because we it's a bit muddy, you know. So we will um, take out the muddiness of this one. So first Baron let us armor 300 more or less hearts. Yes. 344 hearts, it's okay. Gain uh, minus um, minus 5.7 dB, it's okay. And a Q on 8. And Palm 1, it's uh, 1.309 kilohertz. Gain minus, uh, whoa, minus 9.1, I think it would be okay. dB and a Q on 11.7. So it's subtle, but it brings out the muddiness of the song. Um, now you can add a distortion. Screen for distortion units. Uh, damage control on six because uh, we're going to use something that uh, will really affect the song. So there you go. Uh, it's scream mode. Palm one will be on eighty six. Because we want a clear sound, not so. And Perm 2 on 46. You can hear a little difference. Um, we are really subtle with the distortion in that bass. Uh, activate the cut. Um, high on f 5. Uh, 6, sorry. 6, 5, it's more or less the same. Mid on minus 5 and low on 2. And master on 1.101. 1. 1. <coughs> there we go. So now we're going to create a compressor, which will be a really effective pumping compressor. Um, to give that kind of um, nausea style, you know, uh, really dense, uh, really compressed bass hits. Nausea are really playing around that kind of effect. So put 3 dB on your input gain, a threshold on um, minus 20.7 dB, ratio, high ratio, 9.59 over 1, it's okay. Um, so you can see here that we are losing more or less 7 dB, 6 dB. Um, put the attack on 83. Um, we want um, a punchy attack, you know. So so it will um, so the compressor will act after a while, but it will release really quickly because we want all the harmonic to be up. So release on 84 milliseconds. Really short release. And then to bring a little bit of the sound, 3 dB on your output gain. Uh, now you can create a limiter. And put it on slow attack. 4 milliseconds look ahead because it I don't know why, but that but that knob gives a certain sound uh, to your song. And then you can bring up the input gain to 7.2 dB, I don't know. Yeah, 7.2. So there we go, you have your noise noise rising style bass. Um, I hope you've enjoyed. If you have any question, you can ask me in the comment section below. Uh, <coughs> I hope it will it was useful and please uh, please rate my video say if you like it and everything like this. Have a nice day dudes.